I want every man, woman, and child in Hallis Hall fired tomorrow. I do not care if you want to give this coaching staff the rest of the year. I don't care if you want to let Ryan Poles cook for the rest of his tenure as coach. I don't care if you want Matt Eberflus more time as head coach and let him install his system. I don't care if you want Luke Getzey to blossom as a play caller. I don't care if you want to trust the Bears with this rebuild at all after watching today's game because what would was that I so unbelievably just done with 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 how this team is ma'am and we saw it all we saw it all we saw terrible play calling we saw terrible clutch drives we saw terrible penalties and we saw an, us not being able to capitalize on a horrible day from Jared Goff and the Lions a very uncharacteristically horrible day where they had four turnovers where they gave us the ball four times and said here you can have instead of us we dominated time of possession by at least 10 minutes and what did we do it, 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 <sighs> With five minutes left in the game, we give the ball back to them. And in like 30 seconds, they go down and score. Then we get the ball back. We run it like th two times in a row. And then Fields goes back to pass, throws an incompletion. Uh, no, he takes a sack, actually, I believe. And then, and then he throws deep for Tyler Scott, who just like slows down on his route halfway through after he was wide open. And... and and we end up giving the ball right back to them. They march right down the field after our defense had a great day. They just all of a sudden are like, oh, no. As soon as the Lions got back in their mode, they mowed right through us with no issue whatsoever. Go in, David Montgomery touchdown. Remember him? And and now we're losing. We get the ball. And we're like, okay, well, we have a minute. Let's make something happen. You only have to go 50 yards down the field to get into Kyle Santos's field goal range. But what happens? We first snap. Darn all right, blows coverage. Hutch comes through, knocks the ball out, and, 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 oh my God. And then the ball just gets kicked out for a safety. We have to give the ball back to them, and that's game over. Just like that, in five minutes, we completely blew this game after having a two score lead on the Detroit Lions, who are number one in the division, and that's the team that you got to show that you're actually worth something at because Matt Eberflus does not have a single divisional win, and it's time as Bears head coach, and it's been almost two full seasons. God, my God, this team. I hate this team. I hate them. I hate them so much. Every day, we get Justin back, and he played great. You know, he was back to his old ways of rushing and all that, and we we dominated. And like, but the thing is, like, our defense played awesome until it mattered. And then we just like we're like, oh, let's just leave the middle of the field open for for Amon Ross St. Brown, and he and he'll just go through, and he'll, he'll just like. Like right down the, it doesn't even matter. They just let him right through. Like I, I, I just cannot fathom how they blew this game after Detroit was having such an awful day. And it doesn't just start with the fourth quarter. It starts with the first three quarters where yes, we were winning, but we had three picks and we got, I think six points out of those extra possessions. And it's like this team, the thing with the, the hits principle that we keep hearing about is that they're supposed to, 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 you know, be smart with the football and take advantage of the turnovers we get. We had great turnovers. Jalen Johnson should have had another one, too. On the goal line, he had it, it goes right through his hands. If he gets that, that's a pick six, my friend, and that's a 14-point swing. It's just little things like that. Fields missed deep balls a few times. Took a couple bad sacks because he is Justin Fields. But I just top to bottom. Just wow. How, how can you have a basic level of human intelligence and look at this team and say, oh, yeah, no, this is the coaching staff that's going to lead us forward. This is the core roster that's going to that's going to bring us to a Super Bowl championship. This is the right this is the right defensive mind. This is the right play caller that's going to lead us to a championship. No, I'd be surprised if we're playing 500 ball in two years with this with this team. And at some point, you just got to face facts and say, oh, man, we Cannot, we don't know how to win games. 
with this coaching staff, with that soft defensive coverage, that horrid play calling. These are not bad players. These are awful coaches, awful coaches. They can't put a game away. We can only beat terrible teams. If we're not facing the Raiders or the Panthers or the Commanders or the Texans from last year, then we can't, we can't put games away and win. And we had this in the palm of our hands. They gave it to us. They said, oh, please. Yeah, no, we'll turn the ball over a bunch of times. We'll let your defense look awesome. And then as soon as it counts, they're like, oh, right, we're the Detroit Lions. And without even thinking about it, they just go down the field and they win. And this is the one time that we can say, oh, yeah, no, we're the Bears. We're legit. We're going to expose the Lions for who they really are and show them that we own them. And, and what happens? We go out there. We have players that have amazing days like TJ Edwards and, and Deontay Foreman getting hurt was huge, but he was having a great game. Herbert was nice. Roshan was nice. DJ Moore was nice. He showed up a lot. Fields, I thought, had a good game. And it's just, what? how is this roster so so broken? How, how are these players just unable to just put it together? It's all right there. And they just... They just can't, and that's a coaching issue. And I, I, I cannot believe that Ryan Poles really thinks that this is going to be the guy to lead us forward after this year. He shouldn't even be the guy to lead us through next week. Oh my God! And this was coming off of a mini buy too. We had an extended time off. We were coming off of a mini buy. Our defense played great. Had we had four turnovers, one of them on special teams, and the offense just can't execute. And I'm just, I'm just sick of it. Like, like what more needs to be done? If you look at our position groups, like, like yeah, the O line could be better, but guys, like, like this is the healthiest we've been in months. Like what, like, and Dan, Dan Feeney, get him off the team right now because that dude sucks. Good God. I've seen a lot of bad Bears centers, which, by the way, that's our fourth now in a long string of terrible centers. How It can't be this hard to find one that's good. Like, wow. And it's just little things like that that just get in our way. We are such a pathetic team. Absolutely pathetic. And that's the only, that's the only words that come to mind when I, watch, when I watch how this team chokes and how they just, oh, my God. Even when the other team is handing it to us. And this is a good Lions team. They're 8-2 and two now. Even when the other team is like, here, please win. We're like, no, no. We really want to lose this. And what, like, if they keep out of your after this year, I'm seriously like, I'm going to watch a different team. Genuinely. I can't. I can't. All this stuff behind me, all of my, you know, Bears fandom, it means nothing to me. If this team isn't going to actually do something to show it wants to be good. And this locker room is going to be so damaged by the time this is all said and done. Because when you have this much losing, which were three and seven, no, three and eight now, I think. When you have this much losing, locker rooms don't just recover like that. God, what a pathetic game. I can't even I can't even get over that. When we when we ran that clock down to five minutes left, um and and we were up, I I I still never felt secure about it. I still was like, yeah, but it's the Lions. They can come back really easily. And I saw it happen. I just watched it happen. And I'm like, I wasn't even surprised. That's the worst part. I wasn't even surprised. team is such a joke absolutely i'm 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 just tired of it i don't really have too many more words honestly i'm just get like just get everybody out like this is not working Oh my god.
And we were this close. That's the worst part. We were this close. I saw it, you know. And then they just called the most predictable plays. Like... Most coaches, when they're in a late game situation, they'd break out some trickery so they could keep the ball or something. But they were just like, no, nope, run right up the middle, even though anybody could see that coming. And then on the third down, then you had Tyler Scott sell. But why are you trying to throw to Tyler Scott in a in a crucial third down play? Throw to Moore, throw to Mooney, throw to Komet, throw to any of the other great receivers you have because Tyler Scott has shown he can't be trusted. And I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of just the dumb decisions that keep being made. <sighs> so, yeah. No, I'm I'm I I've there's no reason for me to think that any of these guys should stay around next year. And um it's just frustrating because this is a Lions team that the fans have talked a lot. Everybody's hyping them up. Everybody's saying the Bears are trash. And and we go out there and, and we're just we just let them have it. So ugh. I'm just so dumb. <laughs>